What's up, people? It is your boy Spaces, and your boy is excited. And if you've seen the title of this video, you know why I'm excited. I'll put Arcade 2.0. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's dive right in. Now, you know, before we get into this video, what you got to do, you know, you got to like, you got to subscribe, you got to share it. Man, you got to do all that, man. It's free of charge, man. It's free of charge. Let's go. All right, so we are Arcade 2.0. Let's take a look at it. Introducing Arcade 2.0. Explore Arcade 2.0 with no keys. A new way to play chords and melodies, get an in-depth walkthrough and check out the latest update here. Why don't we do that? All right, so we pulling it up. So the first thing that I want to show you in 2.0 is the look. If you see this look, you will notice all of this is pretty much the same up here in the top in this little middle section, but down here at the bottom is where it gets fun. So now what you will see, the keys are replaced by these little, I like to call playheads, and you still see the structure of the key here. It's still set up. These are the black keys. You already know how this works, but I just want to show you what it looks like now. So if you notice in this little area, so now it just plays through. So, so what you notice is that there's a little loop there and the loop indicates the place in where you're playing the loop bit. So if you look at this, every time it makes a full circuit, it starts over. But let's say if we stretch this out like that, and it plays all the way through, then it starts over. So the depending on how long the loop is will determine how long that little circle is. So let's take a look at this. There you are. So as you there see it's playing, when I hit a black key, it will indicate what's going on with that black key. Right? So we hit, if you notice, a little button here, a little area, a little play spot, it's just going, oh. <laughs> that's, that's, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> that's nice. So, uh, yeah. All right, moving on. So at the top, what you'll see, you see the sampler edit. You see the modifier edit. You see the mixer. You see the modulation. You see macros and the playback. It's all the same but it looks different and it's in this location which is easier to dial in so this overhaul is amazing this overhaul just looks uh it just looks elegant man the overhaul looks elegant i'll put did they thing they did they thing on this all right number two now here's the thing that everybody has been asking for and output has done this and this is a game changer. Let's take a look at it. Now, when you see your lines here, you see two little spots now. This other spot here is the play keys. Look at that. Some have them, some do not. Now that we click on the kit, you will see sampler kits and now you see note kits. So if you click note kits, it's a whole different set of kits here. So, you can go in and play them like normal. That's crazy, right? All right, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and download Dreamy Hyper Pad. Now that we're in Dreamy Hyper Pad, look at this craziness here. This is craziness. As you can see, there is keys a line down here all the way from C0 to C7 which means that you can play up to 88 keys on certain key kits certain kits that you load up may have like 88 keys in it 
Some may not. Just depends on the kid and the instrument. As you look at this, you will notice. Now you can play keys. Not only can you play keys, you can play chords. This is crazy. <laughs> this is a game changer. This changes the game completely. This changes the game completely. I'm going to go more in depth than this on other videos, but I just want to do this quick tutorial and just show you some of the new stuff. Now, what you're hearing is the keys that you're playing. They are deeply sampled velocity, which means that no matter what key you hit, it's going to be in key. It's going to be the note that you're playing. The engineering behind this is amazing. <laughs> it's crazy, the engineering behind this stuff. So let's take a deeper look into this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to your tweak. This is going to take you to the tweak page. This is going to take you to the tweak page. And in the tweak page, you got all kinds of ideas that you can do with this this is another thing that changes the game this is this is beyond what we looking at here so just imagine this right so we're here in the tweak page and what you see is you see layer a layer b and layer c all of these all of these go into one key that makes the sound so what that means is that you can come in here and dial up different sounds. You can tune it, you can add filters, you can add, you can mess around with the envelopes, the filter, the pitch envelopes, and you can do all kinds of things. There. Now, another thing that you can do with this is you can change the layers. So let's say if I want to click here, maybe I don't want a pad, I can come in here and click something. Maybe I want another pad and I want to choose this one. So it plays it individually. And so now I'm just going to click on this. Now what we see is that the Accord Ion is now in layer A. So now I want to go back to the... And now it's playing a different sound. <laughs> this is crazy. All right. So now what we will do is we'll look at some of these different options up here. We have the mixer which is completely different. This is a completely new addition to Output Arcade. This is one of the new things here. Now, you'll see the layers. These are the layer A, layer B, layer C. You can add different mix modulations to this. So if I want to add on layer C, it has a reverb on it already, but I want to add a delay to it. So just layer C will have that delay. So you also have the sins. You have sin one, sin two. These are all over here in the sins. If you want to add another sin, you can. Maybe you want to put a phaser on it. And you want that to go here. This is just on the sin note. And sin one and sin two. So it gives you all these different options. And if you want to add something to the master fade, you can over here. <laughs> I have no words for this. I have no words for this. This is just beyond me. Let's go to the next thing. All right, next you have modulation. Modulation, you have four different modulators here. It can be LFO, sequencer, envelope, and the custom LFO. Now, let's say if you wanted to do a custom LFO, let's hypothetically say, I want to take this, I'm going to randomize this to this right here. Then I'm going to go back in the layer and on, I guess on this accord here, I'm going to add that I'm going to right click and I'm going to add the modulation to the clickable LFO and you'll see it's going crazy. Now it's 
in there. Now, it will do this for every note. So if you're playing a chord again, it will do it for every freaking key that you hit. That is crazy. Why is this a thing? Why? This is insane. Now, as a bonus, this is not even, I'm, I won't even charge you for this one. This is just a bonus. Added bonus here, right? Let's take a look at hooked. So now we have the same thing. This is a note kit uh, that we can add also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on note kit. And I'm just going to click on let me love you, right? Now, this right here is crazy this is just beyond crazy right so if you hit one key me love you let me love you let me love you right <laughs> check this out so as you go up and down the key scale let me love you let me love you let me love you let me love you let me why would you go to these extents? Oh my goodness. I am blown away by this. I am completely blown away by this. So as you can see, Arcade has a lot to unpack. It has a lot to unpack. We are going to do this one piece at a time. We have a lot to uncover and we're going to do it within the next couple weeks we're going to go piece by piece and we're going to dive deep into it we're going to see how far we can push output arcade with creativity it's numerous of things that you can do creativity wise with this new 2.0 arcade this is the biggest update yet and it is amazing and so we are going to go for it until the next video. Peace.